All right, what up, YouTube? It's DoomNYC here with another Deck Doctor. Uh, this is for Kurt Kaz. He basically asked me to build a Dark World deck. I guess that's what he's playing right now um, without uh, Fabled Raven or Tour Guides or anything. So uh, this is the deck I've come up with. It's tested pretty good so far, so um, let's get started. First off, we've got one beige uh, just for the special summon ability it's good when you have you know graph in the grave um, three brows standard uh, three ceruli um, I'll get to this in a second three grapha staple morphing jar uh, three silva I'll also get to this in a second three snow staple and one fabled cerberal now cerberal replaces the fable raven and Granted, it's not as good, but it still works a little bit like Fabled Raven, so I've been testing it, and it's been working out pretty good. Uh, let me go on to the spells. That's 18 monsters. We got Card Destruction, best card in the deck. Uh, Dark Hole, two Dark World Dealings, two Dark World Lightning, three Drag Downs. I still like three. A lot of people are only playing two, but I still like three. Heavy Storm, now a lot of people might disagree with this, and at first, I would have not played Heavy Storm in the deck, but I then figured that there were a lot of times where I didn't have the field spell, or they uh, destroyed the field spell, and I was able to play Heavy Storm because I play a lot of chainable traps, so I decided that Heavy Storm would be a good idea. Mind Control, granted I'm only playing the one tuner, but more times than not, if I can mind control something of theirs and then find a way to summon or special summon Cerberal, I get a good play out. So I decided to main deck it. Monster Reborn, uh, three gates, this their field spell, this card's broken. Two Dark Smogs, uh, really good against plants. Two Deck Devs, again, a good against plants. Two Mind Crushes, and one Trap Dust Shoot. Now we're going to go back and talk about... Uh, the cards that I said, so Ceruli. Now, if you guys don't know about Ceruli's effect, um, I actually didn't know about this when I first looked at the um, Dark World stuff, but he's really, really good. Uh, basically, his effect is if he's discarded to the graveyard, um, <clears throat> it, it gets special summon in defense mode on your opponent's side of the field, and because now your opponent controls it, uh, it says your opponent discards one card so basically now your opponent controls it so the next opponent is you yourself so when he goes to your opponent's side of the field you have to discard a card now why is that good well one you get off dark world's effects granted but two because it's your opponent activating the effect even though they don't have a choice in the activation, once it gets special summoned, it activates. But uh, because it's your opponent activating the effect, it the second effects of these guys goes off. So like for Brow, if Brow gets discarded, you draw two. If Silver gets discarded, you your opponent has to put two cards back on the bottom of their deck. You know, Snow's second effect goes off. Graph's second effect goes off. So. It's really, really good. That's why I play three of those. Now, that's pretty much the reason why I play Silva. One, because if he gets uh, discarded by Ceruli's effect, then your opponent has to minus two, which is just ridiculous. And also, if uh, I get Silva and Fabled Cerberal on the field, then I get to go into level seven. So, again, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good play. Um. Side deck, we got Cyber Dragon Crows, Veilers, Maxis, Thunder Kings, two MSTs, uh, two Bottomless, and a Command Tech. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm side decking MSTs and playing Dark World, Deal Dark World Lightning. Uh, to be quite honest with you, a lot of the traps that I've been seeing are more Solemn Warnings or Solemn Judgment or even D Prisons. I mean, this is stuff that's not chainable, so... Uh, Dark World Lightning is works pretty good for that. And then if you target a face down monster, which happens a lot, if you have a face up Graffa on the field, then they start setting monsters, and then that's when Dark World Lightning comes really good. So 
decided to mean this. Plus, trust me when I say a lot of the times, you know, the deck will run dead or get really slow if you have no discard outlets. So you need to have as many of those as possible. Uh, for the extra, we got the Cataster, Ancient Fairy, of course, is a staple in the deck. Ancient Sacred Wyvern, you can get that with the Silva and the Cerberal. Uh, Black Rose, Bryonic. Uh, Dark Highlander is great against plants because if you can bring this out, uh, pretty much plants can't synchro, so that's very good. Scrap Dragon, Stardust. Uh, Stiggy Insurgents, this is uh, very, very good for the deck. All it requires is a fiend type tuner and one or more non tuners. So basically, um, well, you can't use Cerberal to get it, but if you were playing Fabled Raven, uh, this you would be able to get this. And this card is very good because uh, it attacks, and if it destroys a monster, you can. It gains 800, so it goes to 3000. And if Gates is on the field, it goes to 33. So again, that's very good. Um, and of course you could always monster reborn your opponent's uh, fiend type tuner if they are playing one but again you know we are playing Cerberal the deck obviously runs better with Raven but since you decided to since you asked me to make a deck without Raven you know this is the direction I'm going and one Trishula okay so now we're gonna go uh, into the Exceeds we got Adrius and of course you can make Adrius if you happen to get two Silvers on the field uh, Levier, Leviathan, Utopia, and Wind Up Zen Mains. Um, obviously, the X Seeds are a little easier to get if you were running Tour Guide, but that's that's fine because again, you know, you do have your browsing. If you get a chance to put these on the field, you can get your rank threes. Uh, but more than likely, Graph is going to be able to do the job. So. Uh, Kurokaz, this is the Dark World deck that I've been testing without Tour Guides or Fabled Raven. Uh, let me know what you think. The deck's pretty good. I've tested it a little bit, and it's worked out okay. Um, XX Infantry 94 uh, thanks for helping me test out the deck. You've been great. So everybody else, uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and until next time, YouTube, peace.